So, could you introduce yourself, please? Uh, yeah, first of all, my name is Pushtiwan. I'm coming from Kurdistan, the okay. part that is located in Iraq, because Kurdistan is, you know, is divided into four parts. Each part is kind of, you know, taken over by a neighboring country, mm -hmm. like Turkey, Iran, Syria, and a part that is taken over by, I mean, that is taken by Iraq is Kurdistan. This is where I'm coming from. Uh, this is, uh, this, uh, I mean, I study here mm -hmm. as a foreigner. Okay. I study uh, English literature and culture and the language of, you know, everything about British. Okay. Uh, that, okay. that is about it, basically. Uh, yeah, I've been here, this is my second year, but I've been here, like, since October. It means, like, three months. Three months, yeah. Okay. Which university do you study? Uh, yeah, I study at uh, Warsaw in Polish. Warsaw, Warsaw University. Warsaw University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh... Iraq is in Asia, so as an Asian mm -hmm. living in Europe, what difference you found in Europe than any other Asian people or any other Asian culture, such as like, uh, I know I'm also from Asia, uh, in, but I live in Netherlands, so in Netherlands, less humanity than other Asian countries oh yeah I understand uh, well uh, talking about the differences I mean yeah. there are certainly like there are a lot of differences mm -hmm. uh, the main thing is when it comes to culture when you come to Europe you may go through a cultural shock mm -hmm. I mean because it's very different uh, well I mean when it comes like when you come to Europe first of all you experience something that I mean, it's really new for you. The thing that is that uh, in here, people are, I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, generalize it, mm -hmm. but people are kind of cold towards each other, mm. uh, soulless towards each other. Everyone's after themselves to make a living or to survive or to make, to go. I mean, I'm not trying to, you know, being biased or something, but when it comes to humanity, or social relationships. I mean, Kurdistan. Um, specifically, I mean, the Asian cultures like are really, really uh, better because in 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 Asia, people are. I mean, social relationships are, you know, stronger. People care about each other. If somebody has a problem or something, everyone is willing or ready to give them a hand. But in Europe, it's you know less likely I mean but another thing about Europe I mean when it comes to superficiality and stuff on the surface every everything is beautiful but when you go deep into you know the culture and stuff I mean I would say people who come from Middle East or Asia would not be very satisfied in Europe it's true in Europe that everything is available. You have a lot of opportunities, but all in all, it's not satisfying. You cannot be content with that because we are more social in the, in Asia or Middle East uh, than the people here in Europe. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Mm -hmm. And okay, my second question is a little bit different. Um, how much do you spend monthly? Ah, uh, when it comes to yeah, as a student or as, as a, a foreigner. Uh, that is a good question. I mean, mm -hmm. specifically in Poland, Poland is much cheaper than other countries because the money is not very strong. Otherwise, I mean, Poland is very, I mean, you know, it's very crowded and 
there's I mean the economics in Poland is really good okay but because the money is kind of you know kind of it's not very strong that's, that's strong. why uh, you spend less money here well how much approximately approximately I would say you would spend I mean it depends on the person of course yeah. you can you can spend a lot of money everywhere <laughs> like you know Gucci gang yeah, yeah yeah you know <laughs> But if you are kind of, uh, you know, strong with it, you would probably come out with $400. Wow, okay. I mean, less or more. I mean, you can even spend less than that. This average, right? Average this is amount. average for me. I don't know about other people because I live in dormitory. Mm -hmm. uh, dorm dorms are really cheaper than other places to hire, yeah. uh, to rent, I mean. Uh, that's why I, I spend around four hundred dollar and even less than that. Sometimes I spend three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What so, about Netherlands? Oh, uh, you live in the Netherlands. Like, uh, how much you spend? How much? Oh, Netherlands, man. Four hundred euros or five hundred is for just for one room. One room. renting room. Four or five hundred. It's and it's small room. Well, uh, I I mean sorry for interrupting, but okay. uh, the room that that I live in, that I rent, is that I only pay one hundred euro. One hundred euro? Yeah. Where? In dormitory. Oh, here. In here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, if you yeah yeah got you. Yeah, it, but it depends. Like if you live somewhere far from the the city, I think it's more cheaper. Like let's say. I'm in the center of the city. Yeah, like, where do you live now? In Warsaw? Which... Uh, uh, the street? Yeah, it's pro province or it's called, town? It's called Zewirki i Viguri. I don't know, it's kind of hard, I know. <laughs> it's very Polish. Uh, but it's in the center of the city. Okay. It's a dormitory that is, you know, it's related to the university. That's why it's kind of cheaper. My next question, do you work? Or not? I, I don't work at the moment. You don't work? I'm kind of focused on my study. Probably okay. I have, you know, I will have to work maybe sometimes later, but not at the moment. Yeah, I don't work. Be because but why, why I ask this question, like in Netherlands, mm. uh, if you're a student, like it doesn't matter, like you speak English or Dutch, you can easily find a job in Netherlands. So how about in Poland? Is it possible to find a job with English or you know I would other say, language? I mean, I would say. Do you know? It e would be easier to know the language and then work and find a job. But it is definitely possible because I know many people who don't speak a word of Polish, but <laughs> they still have a job. Mm. You know, yeah. they have found. Uh, they managed to, to find. I mean, they have found a job. Uh, yeah, I have friends like that, but yeah, it's possible. It's possible. I mean, possible. there With are a English. lot of yeah. They only speak English, and some of them even they don't speak very good English, but they still you know manage to get a job. Okay, that's. Great. Uh, but the thing is, what is it? Uh, I just yeah. I mean, I'm, I just I think that was about it. But I wanted to say something, but I forgot. It's I, okay. Take it. No problem. Ah. I wanted to say that if you know Polish, it would be easier to get a job. But even if you don't know, it, it's still possible because there, there are in Poland. I mean, I know people from outside of pe Poland don't see it like that. They see that Poland is kind of poor country or something like. But not, not really. There are a lot of job vacancies. I promise you. Like there are a lot of, even the rate of uh, unemployment is. Lesser than Germany, I think it's three percent in okay. Poland. In Germany, it's seven percent of unemployment. Like, wow. you know, it's really good in Poland. But you know, the only thing that is that makes it seem kind of a poor country or poor economics or something is that uh, the money. The money is low T and it's not very strong. It's not very valuable comparing to euro, of course. How much? Uh, Hundred. You, no, okay, you don't know. Sorry, I was going to say like how much hundred euro in slow tea. I was yeah, I, would, I know that. Do you know? Yeah. Okay, sure. how much uh, one hundred bucks or euro in slow tea? One hundred euro e equals uh, around four hundred seventy or sixty slow teas. Around that, so it, you know, 
it uh, goes yeah. up and down. Yeah, that's yeah, that's true. And when it comes to the dollar, I mean, it's almost four hundred dollar. No, four hundred zloty, more or less equals uh, one hundred dollar. Okay, okay. My last question is, why did you choose Poland? Why? I mean, I've I've got this question like many times by okay. Polish people, by everything. Well, you know, what makes what makes it special? It's nothing made it special to be honest. I mean, it was an opportunity. Okay. It was a scholarship. I applied for it. Oh. Okay. And <laughs> I won that. Good reason. Oh. That, that, that was about it. Even though when I answer this question, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Like when I answer this question to other people, like I would say, look, I love Poland. There's, I mean, I love Poland to be honest. I love it so much. I love to be here. It's very good to be here. But the, being totally honest with that. It was just an opportunity. Warsaw University is a great university. There's a scholarship. I applied for it. I got it. I won it. Even it was even the same opportunity. If it was like in another country or another place, I would still apply for it. You know, because we are from Asia. We want to be. You know, it's kind. It's kind of hard for us to be able to travel around and stuff because our passport is not very. Passports are not very strong, but. When something enables you to, you know, get out of this place where you were stuck, it's always great. All right, yes. thank you, yeah. thank you for having me, man, and uh, for your time. No problem. I hope man. to see you in Netherlands. Sure. Yeah. I mean, anytime you find yourself here, just text me. I'll just be at your no, service. you come to Netherlands. I will. I will Amsterdam. definitely in <laughs> in the nearest opportunity, or maybe a holiday or something. I'll try to come. Sure, man. Thank you. Sure. Just great to meet you again. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Cool.